Hello and welcome back to the Drayton Manor Resort. I wasn't going to call um, come here today, but I was driving past literally like two minutes away um, on the way home from Portland's Park and I was like, do you know what? It's a beautiful sunny day. I'm going to pop in, see what's going on on the construction site of the brand new lift and launch coaster from Intamin, which is looking very good. Yeah, so let's go in, into the park and see what's changed over the last couple of weeks. My name's Matt, this is the Coaster Giant channel and it's time for construction update number 15. So I've just come over to look at the compound that's the uh, staff car park where all the track was originally stored. And you can see loads of, loads and loads of barrels around here. There's lots of rocks down here as well and some theming bits up there. But really interestingly, there's loads of things wrapped up over there on pallets, which to me look very much like trains. Um, and there's quite a few of them. I think there's less there this time than last time. So interested to get into the park and see if there's any more of the trains on the track. And um, it'd be good to find out if this is going to be a two or a three train roller coaster. So we're up here at the top of the hill, just opposite the hotel. It's my favourite spot. I've spent so much time here over the last 12 months. Um, and we can see that uh, we did have photos in the last video of how they've already painted up the maintenance shed. You can see that's all now been done. They've got all of the beams and things on. It's looking really smart. And there's actually a train in there as well completely unwrapped you can see it's all like um like a wood effect finish very much looking like a minecart which is exactly what we expected but yeah so there's a full train in there parked up in the maintenance shed let's go and see if that's the same one that's been on the tracks for the last few weeks or if they've added another train interestingly up here as well if you look straight through you can see lots of um black tubes coming out of the ground that seems to be where like all the pipe works laid for all the cables to be fed through and everything it looks like there's a lot of sensors going in on the track like if you look up at the supports you can see metal tracking up several of the supports just from this view um with cables going up it so yeah that must be like all sensor stuff it's going to be quite a technical um coaster i think with two switch tracks and the possibility of a train doing different directions on different bits of track it's um I'm, just, I'm so intrigued by how this is going to work i cannot wait to see it testing it's gonna it's a strange one i just can't work it out and from this angle you can also see that other building it looks massive actually compared to the maintenance shed it's twice as wide um, and that's where all the tires are for the launch which is um in the middle of the layout you can also see a really good view there kind of <laughs> if i zoom in a bit um of the switch track so you can see the two bits of track that come out from that main building right in front of us um, um whichever one of them you take will be determined by the switch track that's there the switch track is actually a three-way switch switch track so you can get um a train out of out and into the maintenance and then you've got um one switch track that will bring one track that will bring you around this this bend that we see right in front of us that wraps around that tree and then if you look right through you can see the other track goes on the other side of the tree so um yeah it's going to be so interesting to see how this coaster works and what the layout is exactly it gets it looks really whippy on these corners and it gets really close to that building as well but i think the thing i'm most excited about is whatever ha is going to happen in that building th there's going to be something right and if you look at it there's probably like two meters of space each side of the track so there's plenty of space for theming pieces and for something to happen when you go into that building i can't wait to find out what it is so this is just another shot you can see that tree there you can see obviously the track nearest to us that wraps around the tree and then if you look underneath just behind that big pile of mud you can see where the other track goes almost side by side and then as it sweeps back around that section it goes onto another switch track which is um, at the bottom of the lift hill this is new this sign's been here at the air vikings entrance for a while now but they've done a nice little raised bed and planted it all out Looking very smart and nice at the entrance. So just in the queue line for Yormanganda now, and this gives us a great, great shot at the um, at the layout. It looks so good in the sun. The track's really shining. I love the colour of it. It's not brown. It's not like gold. It's, but it's like really nice and metallic. You can see the buildings at the top of the hill. You've got the maintenance shed, which is on the right, and then the launch section over there that's on the left. I didn't notice last week or whenever I was last here that if you look at where the pitch roof is on the launch section there's actually a hole at the top of the roof i wonder if that could be like for a chimney or something maybe some smoke effects coming out of it or for a chimney inside i would love something like 
a little fire effect in there, like a little explosion, that'd be really cool. And obviously that would need to escape the building at some point, so I wonder if that could be for a chimney. That would be good. The rest of the track, there's nothing really changed. The train last time I was here was over there, um, just after the launch section, so they're definitely moving the train around. I haven't heard any reports that it, it's actually testing yet. I have noticed that um, just down here in front of this building, all of the clearance testing bars are just there. So maybe they're ready to get on the trains again. And now these buildings are nearly finished. As soon as the scaffolding's down, they should be able to start hopefully sending the trains. I've heard reports that they've been testing all the um, drive tires on the launch and on the lift hill and everything. So hopefully it won't be long until we see a train circulating this track and allowing us to work out what it's actually gonna do. I did say earlier that both the tracks out of the launch section come back to the bottom of the lift hill. That isn't right, I don't know why I said that. Just this one that comes around the outside near Yormanganda goes into that switch track there, right at the bottom of the lift hill. You can see at the minute it's switched so that it feeds the track coming out of the station and then when that track moves across to the left that will tie into this section that goes around the tree. But they've trimmed all this tree down as well because that tree was literally touching that track. So that's all been trimmed as well. Another sign that they're really ready to start testing this. There's no changes to the station building this week. I do love the design on the side of it. It's really like really vibrant as well. It looks so good in the sun. Right, shall we have a little wander up to our blasting barrels? We can have a little look through the fence, see if we can see anything else, see if they've started to lay any pathways yet for the queue lines. Down in front of the station now, I don't think you can quite see from here, not on this camera, but there is an operations booth now, which right in the far side, on the left hand side of the coaster. They've got loads of lights hanging up in there as well. I, just, I can't believe how big it looks, it looks massive. Yeah, all the lights are up there now, both sides, and you can see all the air gates there as well. Probably can't see it because it's really sunny. I am just really intrigued as to what is going to be on the top of this building. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. It's obviously built up for some, I think, some kind of big theming piece that's going to really stand out, but they want to keep secret. So what do you think is going to be up there soon? So we're up at the top of the hill, just outside Blasting Barrels. And I always like, I never have a look through these before I start filming, just so like you get a get my normal reaction first time reaction so yeah the train's gone hang on can I oh I thought I could see one on the launch section then but there isn't so there is still only one train on the track that's parked in the main end shed which is just at the back over there but yeah no changes around here let's have a look I can see there's quite a big gap over this side as well It'll be interesting to see what they do with the back of these buildings. There's loads of wood here, that could be for like queue lines and things, all the cements there. Yeah, there's loads of wood. I reckon that'll be for queue line stuff. There's lots of um, pre-constructed wooden bases over there as well. And this area just, it looks a bit tidier than it did last time. So hopefully they are getting ready to start landscaping and stuff. There's loads of metal work down there as well. So yeah, let's, um, let's wander down and look through the gate a little bit further down the hill. So on my last visit, I mentioned that um, you could see some of this gray hardcore being put down. So it looks like there's gonna be a path that goes straight up there where the path used to be, which I'm, I'm thinking that would probably be quite a good entrance point for the queue line. It'd take you around the back of the track and then back down to the station. Well, there's all sorts of cables being laid here as well. That piping's just for cables usually. That hole wasn't there last time. And then from here, you can see the station. I don't know if that window was on there last time. There's a window and a door on the side. It's just looking really smart. There is no life happening at Accelerator today. There's some work going on on the lift hill, so it might just be some general maintenance. But you just say we're working on improving your experience, opening soon. I wonder if that means that inside here is gonna look very different next time we ride. We know we've already got these new signs. So in high voltage, the Jim Green Track Electric Company, lightning power, which I think is Drayton's attempt to tie this into the new area. Um, I don't think it'll be a complete full re-theme. I'd like to think that in the next couple of years they'll, they'll completely theme it in and like paint all the track. And um, we've talked on these videos as well before, like I'd actually love to see this move to a different location in the park. I think it's a great ride. I think it's a really good roller coaster, but, it's, um, I just don't love it in the middle of the park. 
it's quite big and bulky and in the old days when I was a kid this wasn't here and there was just like a really nice flat ride here which made the area feel really open and I think with this if this was moved so you could just see the station you get a nice cute little flat ride here I do think this area would look better but yeah I think I think whatever they're doing at the minute is likely to just be a bit of a temporary overlay until they invest more and do a little bit more in the future not lots of change to see today at the site obviously all the buildings have been themed up which is good um, I think they're nearly complete now externally they're certainly complete anyway um, so I don't think it'll be long I think a matter of weeks if not days until we start to see these trains testing hopefully and hopefully I'll be back to check that out um, I can't wait to see which direction they go around the track and how it actually uses the switch tracks and everything so because there's not a lot going on I thought this would be a good video to speculate a little bit as well so I'd like to know what you think the new roller coaster is going to be called. Give me your guesses in the comments below. We know it's going to be mine themed, so get thinking around that. Um, and we know that the, the entrance sign to Frontier Falls mentions gold. So we're definitely thinking gold mine, right? So yeah, let me know what you think they might call it. And also there was a lot of speculation months and months ago because some of the parts that turn up for this roller coaster were labelled as being a spinning coaster, which the park has denied. Now, we know that the one train that's on the track looks pretty static, and it definitely doesn't look like a spinning coaster. Um, but it does look very similar to some of the coasters. I can't even think of what they're called now, but where the trains could actually turn. So not so much like free spinning as you go around the track. But it's like it has got me thinking. Imagine if you got into that... Um, the launch section and the train stops and there's come some kind of show scene in there and then maybe the train could turn and you come out forwards rather than doing the layout backwards. Now I did mention that the train that's there now looks very static but the other train could be different and we know that the queue line um, is split into at least two queue lines going up the stairs into the station and they've talked about the roller coaster offering different um, ride experiences at different times of the day so could we have one static train that takes the layout forward then backwards and could the second train actually have a controlled spin so that you're always facing forwards when you're going around the track in all different directions and the switch tracks something to think about what do you think let me know in the comments below i know a lot of you have subscribed to whilst you've been watching these um, coaster updates and um, the construction updates so um massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed um, but yeah, get in the comments, let's chat about it. What do you think it's going to be called? And do you think there's going to be any surprises when this starts testing and when they get the other train on the track? So I'm just back outside the park now and I was talking about Accelerator and how I would actually love it to be removed from the middle of the park because I don't want to say it's an eyesore. I just think it would look better if it wasn't, like such a big thing wasn't plonked there in the middle. And I do think, I've spoke about this in videos before, but this massive plot of land outside Vikings would be a perfect place for Accelerator. Imagine driving in over the top of that hill and looking straight at the lift hill of Accelerator or whatever it could be called if it was themed into the Vikings area. It would just look, it would look so good. You'd see, as you drive in, you'd see the new coaster at the top of the hill. You'd see a bit of your Manganda and then you'd see that massive coaster here as well i know i'm like probably a bit in dream world because that cost a lot of money to move that and um re-theme it but i do think it'd look very good as always thanks very much for watching this construction update it's update number 15 it's mad that there's been 15 of these now i've been doing them since like over 12 months so um a long time and i want to say thanks very much for watching if you've subscribed during this time as well massive thank you i hope you've enjoyed them um and yeah there's just more good stuff to come because we're going to soon start to see this testing and then it won't be too long until hopefully we're on it i'm thinking the park are going to want to get this open in time for summer holidays so fingers crossed in a couple of months we'll be getting on this brand new ride here at drayton manor right thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one goodbye